Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Jim Pierre, and on today's episode, we're going back over to Wales to check out some more Penderyn. Now, before we even begin on this, you guys know if you've been watching this show for any length of time, I'm a bit of a fan of Penderyn, but I'm well aware that there's a bit of a kind of flavour profile within the Penderyn range that uh, divides the field somewhat. I'm firmly on the yay side, so if you're firmly on the no side, then this might not be the liquid for you, but stick with the review and you might find something interesting about this that might make it worth trying after all. Now this here, if you haven't seen this kind of bottle before, is part of their gold range. You can tell this by bottles that look like this. So they have the kind of band across the top here. And you can also see these kind of winged bits here with Welsh gold down the side and a gold seam. Now if yours just have no box and uh, a kind of dragon on them, then those are the dragon series. Pretty easy. Now this is the rich oak. That joins uh, the other bottles in the gold range, stuff like the Madeira, the Peated, the Sherry Wood, and the Port Wood. Now the reason why this is called rich oak, it's a bit of a, a different one, but it's basically all about finishing. These, this whole range is about finishing the whiskey in, in what you would imagine is what the name is. So for, so for the Sherry Wood, for instance, it's finished in a sherry cask. But this one here is finished in a rejuvenated X wine cask. So I don't think kind of wine wood would really fit the bill here. I imagine that's the reason why we've now got rich oak. Now, this was originally released as a single cask, then a limited bottle at 50%. Now it's part of the core range. Should be able to get this anywhere that you can get any other of Penderin. It's 46% ABV and it's going to be roughly 40 to 50 pounds. So it's expensive for uh, generally speaking whiskies, but I have to say in terms of the distillery and where it's at right now, I think it's priced pretty well for what you're getting. That's just my opinion. Good stuff, non-chill filtered, natural coloured, all things that we like. We've talked a bit about the cast types, so let's get into the whiskey and see what we've actually got in the glass. Now, this is, as literally as it says, it's surprisingly rich, I have to say. It does have that characteristic kind of Penderin flavour about it, so if you're not into Penderins, this might not be the one to win you over, but I have to say, personally speaking, stick with them. Very good stuff it is, very good stuff. Now it's got a kind of, for me, it's kind of like a treacly element to it, like a dark treacle. Mm. Some kind of like pepperiness to it already on the nose, which is something I usually only get on the palate. And then a kind of tropical note. That's what I would say is probably the kind of house Penderin style. It's kind of tropical in nature. Let's try on the palette. Now on the palette, you're really getting a transference of those. The treacle tends to disappear a little bit. The tropical notes are coming up a little bit more. More vanillas more oaky, a bit spicy still on the uh, kind of pepperiness on the back end. And the finish, I have to say, just keeps going on and on. I usually talk about kind of medium to long, medium short, that sort of thing. This is definitely on the longer end of that spectrum. Very juicy and still a little bit of spicy. So I have to say for me, it's an absolute winner. I've seen this sell quite highly in price up to like so 60 quid on Master of Malt, which is a little bit insane, I have to say. But if you can pick this up for retail, uh, you know, no more than 50, I would say. I mean, even the Pandarian website sells it for 48. Uh, but you can regularly find this for less than 40, maybe just a, you know, a few pence less than 40 pounds. Obviously, if you're a further afield than the UK, you might struggle to get this. But if you can't get this, then try some of the other Pandarians. Welsh whiskey is a thing that's really coming through right now. Um, Penderin are the only ones that you can really buy whiskey from right now, but there are a couple of other distilleries that are in the works that should be releasing something in the next few years. So it's definitely something to keep an eye on, just as English whiskey is. Really good stuff to see, stuff more local to me. Scotland obviously is very close if you look on the map, but it's great to have things just around the corner. Like this sort of thing, this is about two, three hours away from me. Perfect.